Welcome to the Code Long video series. In this tutorial, we'll be building a chat application from scratch. We will develop the backend, set up the database, work on the front end, put it all together, and then finally deploy the end product online so that you can send the link to your friends across the world. Let me take you through the structure of the series so that you know what to expect. In the first video, we'll set up an account in Heroku and install Postgres SQL database in our local system. In the next video, that's video 2, we'll set up a very basic Flask application. Next comes the juicy bit. We will create a basic registration and login page. We will use WT Forms to render and validate the fields, and we will use SQL Alchemy to work with the database. So this is the pre-login section of our app. Video 8 is all about password hashing. We will talk about the concept, and by the end of this, you should have a decent understanding of what hashing is, and we will implement this in our application. In the next video, we will see how to manage the session using Flask login. In the 10th video, we will see Flask's inbuilt message flashing system. Video 11 is a broad introduction to Socket IO. We will talk about how it's different from polling and WebSocket. Video 12 is where we implement Flask Socket IO in our chat application. The last video, lucky number 13, is taking the code we have written so far and deploying our chat application online. To follow along with the series, some basic knowledge of Python would help. Uh, without it, you could code along, but knowing some basics could give you more context and help you troubleshoot. At any rate, as a bare minimum requirement, you should have Python installed in your system. We will be using Git for version control and code management. Heroku, the hosting service we will be using to deploy the final code, also will save our app on a Git server. So in case you have never heard of Git, it's definitely worth spending some time learning it. I'm going to be using macOS for recording this video and typing in the terminal. If you're using a Windows operating system, you could install Sigwin, which would give your system capability to run native remote shell system. I will include a link in the description below. With so many different operating systems, versions of packages out there, it's possible that some of the instructions will not work for you. In which case, the fastest way to troubleshoot is to Google the error. Okay, with the basic boring introduction out of the way, in the next video, we'll start building the application. So see you in the next video.